Choice or no, welcome back. How are you? Very good. Well, it's very windy here today. Mine winter gown. Well, I think the trees have protected me a little bit. A little bit. Now, today is the 6th of November. And yesterday was the 5th. Bonfire night. Shall we sing a song all about bonfire night? Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Whoosh go the rockets, green and gold and red. Bang, 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 exploding overhead. Fizz go the fireworks, showering the ground. And whiz go the Catherine wheels, whirling all around. The roar of fire, the crackle of flame. See the silver sparklers hissing out our name. Listen to the air bombs we in the sky, the sights and sounds of bonfire night. Very good, well done. Now, why do we celebrate bonfire night on the 5th of November? Well, a long time ago, 416 years ago, in 1605, Guy Fawkes and his friends, Robert Catesby and the like, they tried to blow up the Houses of Parliament with gunpowder. Now, they didn't do it because they were found and caught, so it didn't happen. So we celebrate that day. But why were they doing that? Well, they felt quite angry at the time. They were angry at the King and Parliament. And they were going to blow up the building. My goodness, that is quite angry, isn't it? Well, we all feel angry sometimes, don't we? I felt angry before. I'm sure you can think of some times where you felt angry too. And it's okay to feel angry. That's all right. That happens to all of us. But it's definitely not okay to hurt somebody because we're angry. Now, we remember to bring things to nursery, don't we? We remember to bring these to nursery. What are these? Yeah, kind hands. These are our kind hands. And what about these? We bring these to nursery too. Listening ears, that's right. We bring kind hands, listening ears, and I can hear some of you shouting out as well, looking eyes, indoor voices, and walking feet, absolutely. And in nursery, it's very, very windy here, isn't it? Is it windy where you are? All the leaves are running across the, the woods. Look, see all the leaves being blown across. <laughs> what was I talking about? Feeling angry. Well, I don't feel angry now, but it's okay if you do. We can think of some things that we can do to help us to feel better. Now, in our nursery, we have this. We have our bowl of soup. Bowl of soup. Oh, I like soup. How does it stop you feeling angry? Well, first we need to smell our soup. Let's have a smell. Mm, it's quite nice soup. And it's a bit hot too, so we need to blow it. Mm. Are you doing it with your bowl of soup? Hold your bowl of soup, and then we'll smell. Blow. Let's do it one more time, really. It helps us to calm ourselves down so we don't feel so angry. We read a book, actually, about a boy and a girl who were angry. And the boy, he did something he really didn't want to do. He shouted at his friend, told him to go away and not come back. It wasn't very nice. And the girl in the book, she got so angry that she stomped up to bed and was angry in bed and then she was even angry the next day in school. She was angry for a long time. Now it's okay to feel angry, but maybe it's not a good idea to feel angry for a long time. And it's definitely not a good idea to hurt somebody with your voice or with your hands. And if we do some of those things, 
What should we always do after this? Say sorry. Absolutely right. If you've hurt somebody, you've snatched a toy, or pushed someone, oh my goodness. Sorry. You need to say sorry. But it's hard sometimes. When you feel angry, you feel that feeling bubble up inside you, and you want to clench your fists and stamp your feet and shout out, I'm angry! <laughs> It's hard to calm ourselves down, but it's okay. You can always talk to someone. Now at nursery, you can talk to me. You know you can. Anytime you like, come and talk to me. You can talk to Laura and Chelsea too, and Stacy and Kirsty next door. But if you don't come to our nursery, there are other people you can talk to. You have friends and family at home, and at school there's your teachers too. You can always talk to somebody. Talking always makes you feel better. Even when you want to shout it. I feel angry because they did this and I want this. Okay? Okay. It's a good first step to talk to someone. We can get our bowl of soup out. <sighs> Try it again. I feel angry because they did this and I want this. Okay. We can solve the problem then, Carl. We can think of some solutions. Now, some of you may have noticed I've got a caterpillar under my nose. <laughs> it's a moustache, well, the beginnings of a moustache. You see, in November, November, some men grow a moustache because some adults, too, need reminding sometimes that it's okay to feel sad, it's okay to be angry, but there's always someone you can talk to. That's what the moustache is there for, to remind people. It's okay to feel those things. You can always talk to someone. It can make you feel better. So I hope you have fun with the fireworks tonight, or tomorrow, or yesterday. <laughs> I hope you just had fun in general. And I hope you're having a wonderful day. I'm going to see you soon, next week. We'll have a brand new song. There's my kind hand waving goodbye now. Bye-bye. Wheel of Matron.